Today we are going to talk about a very interesting question about dogs. It ranks as the second highest question people search for on search engines. Why do dogs lack? Is it bad? And can we do something about it? We connect and communicate with animals through our understanding of their behavior. Many studies said that it is common for us to misunderstand dogs' behavior. And this is one of many points which can make us cruel to animals while we don't know. Sometimes we think that we know the meaning of their actions and behavior while we really don't. And we may end up ignoring, punishing, or reinforcing the wrong behavior. One of those main behaviors and actions are licking. And that is what I'm going to talk about today. So why do dogs lick? Assuming that your dog licks your face or your hand because he loves you or because he or she likes salty surfaces could lead to a misunderstanding of your dog and his behavior. I will explain on that later. When you Google that question, you will find a lot of unclear, long answers, mostly based on assuming, assumptions, or common sense. Actually, the top search results have some wrong answers as well. One of the main wrong answers is, dogs do that because they like the taste of salty skin. According to many references, dogs don't crave salty food. Taste buds on dog's tongue are arranged differently than humans, so they don't taste salt the way we do. Another common answer is licking release endorphins, which is a natural hormone in our bodies and in dogs as well. They say it eases stress and anxiety in dogs. I almost agree on that, but there is no strong medical evidence or reference to prove it. There is three main reasons, and understanding them is very important for a better understanding of your dog. So what is the proper answer for that question? Let's find out. Main reason number one, communication. One of the ways dogs use to seek attention is licking. One of the ways dogs seek the attention of their companion humans or the attention of other animals is by licking. Dogs adapt and learn in a remarkable way and they will associate your response to their actions and learn from it. So if you don't like your dog licking you, simply don't give him a good reaction when he do it. Dogs can use licking to show interest in a companion or in an object. And in some cases, they can use licking to say that they appreciate your leadership, as they do between, between them and other dogs. If you put all of that together, you can safely say that your dog likes you because he is somehow liking you or loving you. Somewhere in between liking you and loving you. Main reason number two, which is medical reasons. We have three points to talk about here. First one is irritating spots, which means an itchy spot on his or her skin. Those itchy spots, he feels like he wants to scratch them and he uses licking to scratch these spots. The second point here is pain, which is a, a mild or a weak pain. So if it's an area they usually don't lick, you should pay attention for other signs of pain on them. The third point and the medical reasons is licking. Licking an injury or a wound. There is a lot of argument about if this is a good thing or a bad thing to do. 
but as far as you are concerned, you should call your vet about it, as licking injuries or extremely itchy spots could turn into chewing parts of their bodies, like their paws or the pads of their paws, which is a nasty thing and could cause a big problem. Main reason number three, obsession or obsessive behavior. Dogs can get obsessed with licking as they will associate the good feeling coming from licking an itchy part or a painful part, or the good feeling coming from end, end, endorphins, or the good feeling coming from your attention to licking. So it becomes an obsessive behavior. This behavior can carry on in, in other times and they can get obsessed with it. If licking become an obsessive behavior, it's usually not a good thing and may lead to injuries, skin conditions, and so on. And you should call, again, you should call your vet about it. Of course, there is more reasons away from these three main reasons we talked about, but they all come under the same categories. So if you understand these points, you will, they will be enough for you to understand the rest of what's happening with your dog. Please pay attention to any changes in the skin color, the skin texture, or hair loss in the areas lacked, and call your vet about it. If you don't like being lacked by your dog, so please make it clear for him or her. Thank you for those who subscribed to the YouTube channel and became a member of Animal Cream, or of the Animal Cream. I will be answering more questions at least one a week. I will be answering more questions at least once a week. If you have a question or a topic you want us to discuss, you can leave, leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. The Twitter handle should appear on the screen now. Or send, send your question to the animaliatv at gmail.com. We also have another series called Weekly Animal News where we discuss what happened during the week in, in animal news, interesting news, news about animal cruelty, news about what's happening, new discoveries in animal world, and so on. If you found this episode useful, share it with your friend. Thank you for watching and see you next episode. Thank you.